This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 1. And he reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. First and foremost, as always, I just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Barachakwadash, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. And with that, Mashana, Kabawadim, Lahasakwanim, Shal Kadawabakab, which is double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, honors and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, which is the house of David. Representing the elect of Israel, being the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners. All right, and with that, it's your fellow servant, Malak Rayyav. It's back at it again with another video in the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who died for the uh, remission of sins of Israel. Um, you know, and, and, and a part of those sins is sodomy, you know, um, in which we, we have, uh, you know, committed in times past, you know, which is devil Esau is, um, you know, which is why this devil Esau is prescribing, you know, these these different you know, um, you know, laws and legislations, you know, to, to, um, you know, such as, uh, uh, sleepy, creepy, uh, Jim Crow Joe's most recent executive order to, uh, allow, uh, transgender males into female sports, um, you know, mainly in, um, you know, high school, you know, uh, um, you know, grade school and whatnot, high school mainly. And, um, you know, really is uh, that that's actually, um, you know, the intention of targeting or further targeting, you know, you tribes, man, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians under the guise of the LGBTQ uh, uh, community, which was, uh, you know, composed by Tarana Burke, a so-called black woman and two so-called black lesbians, man. All right. You know, because, it, it, you know, the whole vibration of that goes back to, you know, the time of Willie Lynch and the Jim Crow era where they would, they would, um, they would, you know, increase the tensions between the the male slave and the female slave, including the you know the dark skinned slave and the light skinned slave. All right, but mainly you know dealing with the topic of this of this of this, of this um you know, of this segment. You know what I'm saying? You 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 had um you know Esau pit the male slave against the female slave, and and and, and um you know to remove the male from the home. All right, so that wh whichever gender the the uh, you know, the child of that, that household was, you know, would grow up uh, in reverse natural order of their gender. All right. Because um, that in Genesis, the second chapter, the Lord said he created a woman to be a help me for the man. All right. Because a, a male and a female have two different structures. All right. Where the male was was designed by the Lord with the more superior structure to be the guardian. So when 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 a, when a child, a male child is growing up without the father in the home, and he lacks a, a, a true masculine influence. So he, he would tend to grow up more, you know, feminized, you know what I'm saying? Um, which was Esau's aim to demask to, to demasculize um, and effeminize uh, the male child, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, emasculize the woman, you know, do everything in reverse as a, as a warfare tactic, you know. So this is another furtherance of that. And that's why they have, uh, uh, um, you know, the Kamala Harris in there as a vice president, because she appears to be a black, a so-called black woman. You know, so, so they use these political optics, you know, a, a part of their witchcraft, you know, you know, to, to further destroy the tribes, man. All right. And that's and that's that. Th th that's those are those, uh, you know, those those prescriptions that they had. They that that are grievous. All right. And, and unrighteousness, man. All right. To cause the children of the Lord, you know, to go that, that much for further astray. All right. Due to unrighteous judgment, which leads me to this quick precept I'm about to bring out here in Habakkuk uh, or Habakkuk chapter one, verse four. And it reads, therefore, the law is slacked. And that's said, the law of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, of the Holy Covenant, man. The, those uh, 613 law, statute commandments were supposed to rehearse to the best viability, man. But in America, they don't, you know what I'm saying, uh, America doesn't, you know, preach that, you know. Yet, back in 1983, this place was, you know, deemed the year of the Bible, man. Where, you know, there was a, there was a proclamation, you know, that, that America was supposed to be predicated off of biblical principles. But back in 2015 to 2016... Uh, under the Obama administration, in which uh, sleepy, creepy Jim Crow Joe was, uh, you know, uh, the vice president of that uh, um, administration, you know, you had, uh, um, you know, sodomy legalized with, you know, throughout the entire U.S., man. All right. So now he's just picking up where Obama left off because it's all orchestrated. All right. To target your tribes, man. All right. 
under under their law, the laws of the of the land, under the laws of men. All right, under under the men of sin, the Edomites. All right, so it says, therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth, and that's why the crime rate is, is at an all time high. The more you know, the suicide rate is at all time high. You know. You know, you got people indulging in drugs at an all time high. You know, especially uh, uh, um, you know after the fact of this whole uh, you know pestilence going on right now. That is called that's been reported to have resulted in uh, four hundred thousand deaths in, in America, man. All right, because this is a very lawless society in righteousness, man. That's why it says in Psalm eighty-two and five, you know that this this world is out of course because the world was given to the hands of the wicked. All right, pursuing a Job nine and twenty-four, Esau, Edom, the man of sin and son of perdition. All right, the red dragon, the red serpent, man, the old ancient serpent called the devil, which is the physical manifestation of Satan. Okay, doing the which is why he does the bidding of Satan. And this is a, this is a further bidding of Satan, man. All right. So I'm about to prefer to bring on a few more precepts. So it says, therefore, the law is slack and judgment doth never go forth for the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. OK, so this is a this this is a further example of wrong judgment, man. OK, so it says here, Biden's trans order undoes decades of feminist progress. All right. You know, so he so it says here. Um, the directive titled Preventing and Combating Discrimination on the Basis of Gender Identity or Sexual Orientation spells disaster for women's shelters, sports, and health care in the name of transgender equality. So the ironic thing about the theme of America, about, uh, um, which is liberty and justice for all, it's, it's, further, it's, it's further revealing the, uh, you know, the, the, um, the, the immoral and hypocritical um, you know, aim of their rulership, which is to appease all audiences. And the Lord doesn't, and, and the law of the Lord um, it's not of that vibration. Okay. The, 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 you, uh, uh, the Lord said in Proverbs seven chapter, you keep, you essentially said, keep the laws of the Lord. You keep your life, man. Okay. Otherwise, uh, uh there would be no holy hedge protection over you. There'd be no mark of exemption over you. All right. From his judgment, his righteous judgment, including his indignation, man. All right. Which is why he's visiting the world with these plagues, man. Cause this world is wicked as hell, man. All right. So, Ironically, this 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 legis this uh, executive order that legislates, you know, transgender males into female sports, you know, further, uh, uh, you know, puts a stain on feminism, you know, and the whole body of work of feminism over the course of the years, man. You see how ironic that is? Yeah, the Lord, is, because the Lord is giving these devils over to their own delusions, man, to make them believe that they are God on earth. So he can further expose them. OK. As as the, as the degenerates that they are, man. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get this other article. You know, because around the time where, you know, Biden had, uh, you know, legislated this executive order, you know, for, uh, 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 you know, you you had this, um, you know, this this uh, Pennsylvania uh, health secretary. All right. Um, you know, assigned the duty of being his assistant secretary of health. All right. Uh, and, and this is so, you know, and this and this individual is also a transgender. OK. So it says Biden picks first transgender uh, transgender person for Senate confirmed post. All right, uh, to be to become the the first openly transgender federal official to be confirmed by the Senate. All right, um, you know. So jumping down here it says Dr. Rachel Levine will bring the steady leadership and essential expertise we need to get people through this pandemic, no matter their zip code, race, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. And meet the public health needs of our country in this critical moment and beyond, Biden said in a statement. Okay, she is a, she is a historic and deeply qualified choice to help lead our administration's health efforts. And by way of what was mentioned here in this in this little passage, we understand the stipulations on what these qualifications, you know, were 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 uh, you know were judged by way of you know, and, and that's 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 uh, iniquity. All right. Because Esau is a man of sin, which is which iniquity is sin upon sin, man. And they mention uh, case of point, uh, doesn't you know he he implied that it doesn't matter what your you know um, this individual's sexual orientation and gender identity is. But let's go ahead and get that in the scriptures, man. All right, let's get a, a, a Deuteronomy chapter uh, twenty three verse one. It says, "He that is wounded in his stones." Or had this privy member cut off, which a lot of these transgenders do, these, trans these trans uh, transgender males, shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh. Because like it says in the um, book of Corinthians, 
the effeminate shall not enter into the into the congregation of Yahweh. Okay, the heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay, because He created a man for His purpose and a woman for His purpose. So why would why what what so what is the imagination? What 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 is the purpose of having the imagination to combine the two genders, when the Lord designed a male and a female structurally different, on purpose? You see, and that's why in Job fifteen and fourteen it says that a uh, a woman is unclean because in Leviticus um, uh, twenty and eighteen it says that you know uh, 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 a woman it, it, uh, it says that um, it explains why that is anyway in Leviticus twenty and eighteen because of her menstrual cycle. That's why you're not supposed to be intimate with your woman or any woman when they're on a, on a, on a, um, their menstrual cycle. You see, so it's an abominable thought, you know, to want to combine the two genders, man. And the case in point, Esau has a, 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 you know, he has established the idea of 32 genders. You see, this is madness, man. All right, but I'm going to continue. It says, a bastard shall not enter to the congregation of Yahweh. And that's why in, in um, Ecclesiastes 10 to 16, it says that, um, woe be unto thee when thy king be a child. This, this devil is, a, 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 you know, he, he is a, um, a, a demonic child, man. And in this world, this earth is his playground. Which is why, you know what I'm saying, it says earth was given to the hands of the wicked, man. You know? And I'm just laughing because this devil's being exposed, man. Because the Lord is exposing him. Okay? Because under the guise of white supremacy, he is proclaiming himself to be God. But his, his rudiments, like it mentions in Colossians 2 and 8, his ideologies, his philosophies, they're supposed to be predicated off of God. You know? Through the precepts of men, as it mentions in Isaiah 29 and 12, it's for exposing, you know, his, his notion to be God as anything but that. As anything but God. You see, but, but rather the contrary, because he's doing the bidding of Satan, because he is a physical manifestation of Satan, like it says in Revelation, uh, the 12th chapter. So it says, a bastard, Deuteronomy 23 and 2, a bastard shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh, even to his 10th generation, shall he not enter into the congregation of Yahweh. Okay, so he's a, he is an illegitimate child to the Lord. That's why Romans 9 and 13, it says that he hates Esau. So dealing with these, these, uh, these, these, uh, you know, these laws he's prescribed. All right, to lead the needy from judgment, true judgment, goes into the curses placed upon Israel, upon the 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 the, 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 the true rich people, all right, rich in spirit because they are sanctified by the Lord, that are poor in this world, as designed by the Lord, you know, for our, our transgressions against the, Lord, the Lord's holy covenant. Hence, why He made us the captives of these these devils, man. Okay, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, man. All right, this, all right the, the same people they led into captivity that they've been benefiting off of the the, the fruits of that captivity. All right. You know, through international, the products they, they ship and distribute through international trade and geopolitics and whatnot, through the uh, docking points into America, which is why in 1989, the 19, uh, you had the 1989 Panama Canal, where they took over the Panama Canal down there in Panama, okay, dealing with the tribe of Zebulon, all right, the, the habitation of the tribe of Zebulon, for exposing who they are in prophecy, you see? So they, they've always been uh, preying on our people, you know, uh, looking to keep us oppressed, to worship them as gods, you know, to... Keep us, you know, uh, 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 you know, further withdrawn from our true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. So this is James, St. James 2 and 5. It says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? And love is an action. Pursuing the First John 5 and 3. Okay, where it says, uh, matter of fact, let's pull that real quick. First John 5 and 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So it's not grievous. To abstain from sodomy, man. All right. To 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 uh, 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 abstain from the vile affection of that, and to desire a woman if you're a man, and vice versa. Okay. But this, but the, but the, the laws of this world, the you know the uh, through the Bill of Rights and the uh, U.S. Constitution teaches otherwise, man. Because this through that whorish doctrine, all right, spiritual fornication, man. The wine, other wine of fornication, known as uh, uh, Western philosophy in modern day times, man. All right. So back in St. James 2 and 6, it says, but ye have despised the poor. So case in point, dealing with the, ver the fifth verse where it speaks about, uh, you know, the uh, uh, those that love the Most High uh, were, uh, uh, of that promise. Okay. Uh, uh, dealing with the Holy Covenant between the Most High, Yahweh, and the children of Israel. Okay. Where we were to love the Most High by action, as it said in 1 John 5 and 3, by keeping the lost edge commandments, man, to the best of our ability. You see? So the opposite of love, in that sense, is hate. You know, so if you you hate the Most High, if you're not if if, if you if you think His laws are grievous, His true laws are grievous, you you hate the Most High, and that's that's why in Proverbs it says the uh, the Most High loves those who loves Him. 
I'm speaking about the Israelites, specifically the elect of the nation of Israel. OK, who are preordained to follow his ways to the best of their ability. OK, for, you know, so, um, you know, that's why in Proverbs 836, it says um, they that what, what does it say? Uh, um, matter of fact, Salakia. Pull that real quick. Proverbs 8 and 36 says, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. OK. And, 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 and who uh, mainly sins against the most high? The man of sin, Esau, man. Esau, Edom. OK. You know, and so the, the he so the, uh, he hates the most high. You know, out of envy. And that's why he, he uh, uh, under the guise of our supremacy, he's proclaimed himself to be the most high. As if to imply, I'll do, I'll, I'll play the role of God better than he, than, than, than he. That's black. That's of the ultimate blasphemy, man. Okay. And he, and he sought out to, to, uh, he's conspired to have his captives, which are the, uh, the captives of the most high in Joel, the third chapter that even, uh, Hitler admitted on how these devils, uh, have the real Jews under their uh, possession. All right. The, the, his, uh, his his treasures, as as Hitler said, even Hitler Hitler's an Amalekite, you know, a descendant of the Rothschilds, and he even admitted that. You see, because the, the, the Most High is exposing these devils. So it says in Saint uh, James two and six, but he had despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? All right. So within these wicked laws, you know, they 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 uh, uh, these wicked laws lead us, you know, uh, mainly leads us into their court systems, you know, where we sit before the you know, th those demonic judges in which. Uh, primarily uh, Freemasons, like that that judge uh, uh, Tammy, um, you know, in that Amber Geiger uh, case, she, she was an Eastern Star, but she well, she is an Eastern Star, okay, you know, a Freemason, you know, of, of that Freemason uh, congregation of the Secret Council of Wickedness, man. All right, and that's why, you know, Kamala Harris uh, of the DA of the California DA was you know uh, was was known for locking up Jake, and uh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, the the other politician. Put her on blast for that, because the Lord put the spirit. The Lord is the Lord has this, the, the 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 Holy Spirit of the Lord is exposing these devils, man. Okay, for the vile, profane bastards they are, man. All right, because they don't they don't keep the true laws of Yahweh by Shimei or Shai, man. So it says uh, Saint James two and uh, seven. Do they not blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? All right, and he's 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 done that. Esau's done that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know one you know under the guise of so called white supremacy. You know, through a uh, Roman iconoclasm, you know, of those wicked images of uh, uh, Renaissance art, which depicted the Most High and, and the saints as, uh, you know, half naked and even in, in most cases, uh, fully naked so-called white men. You see, and, and depicting the angels as so-called naked white babies, that's blasphemy, man. And then and then they blaspheme the name through, um, you know, but, you know, institutions and uh, um, and, 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 uh, indoctrin and, and uh, indoctrinations. All right. You know, you know, in institutionalizing and indoctrinating the tribes, of, the Torah tribes of Israel to believe that the names of the Lord is uh, Jehovah, Yahweh and other and other and other madness, man. That's not, you know, and other names that are not in the ancient Hebrew. OK, which is Yahweh. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, man. You know, so say James two and eight. Here's a point. If you fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, you do well. You know, like it says in Romans 13 and 10, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. So if you say you love someone, you're supposed to teach him about the laws of the Most High. So the Most High, you know, can keep, have his holy hedge protection over them. Because nobody can love anybody more than the Most High Yahweh can, man. But he only loves his people, the Israelites. Hence why he made that, that vow with them, that, concrete, that uh, holy covenant. And in, in um, Exodus, is tw the 24th chapter, when our forefather Moses sprinkled the blood over us to make that pact with us, we agreed. So when we went against that, when we, we, we broke our, we, we uh, broke the covenant by not keeping our end of the bargain, by transgressing the law, statutes, commandments of the holy covenant, we agreed to, the Lord uh, uh, put curses on us, man, and gave us over to these, uh, these devils, you know, because that's a part of the curses, man. And Deuteronomy 28 and 68, you know, speaking about the prophecy of the transatlantic slave trade. So that's why that happened. That's why they have us under their rulership, worshiping them as God. That's why Jake was, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, predominantly happy that, you know, uh, uh, Jim Crow, Petal Joe, you know, got, got elected as a, the, 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 um, the new Caesar, the new modern day Roman Caesar. OK, because uh, our people have been indoctrinated and institutionalized to trust oppression and the shadow of Egypt, man, under the shadow of Pharaoh. All right. The modern day bond man under these presidents and these elected officials, man. 
all right, to, to, to follow their laws and forsake the royal law of the Holy Covenant. Because how is it royal? You know, so, so matter of fact, let's get that. Leviticus 20 and 13. It says, if a man also lie with mankind as he like it, as he live it, so like it lied with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So in the court systems, they got the death penalty and they got, you know, uh, death by legal injection and, electric, you know, electric, uh, you know uh, electrocution chairs and whatnot. I believe they even got uh, gas chambers, or, or at least they're bringing that back if they already if they have if they haven't already, you know what I'm saying? You know they're getting ready to bring back lynchings. They already lynched. They they still lynching Jake in the South, you see. So how you know how come they're not gearing these these uh, these methods of judgment, you know, towards those who forsake the royal law because this they don't keep the royal law, you see. That's why they condone these things. That's why Deuteronomy 32 and 32 says that. Um, he is a vine of Sodom, the foundation of sodomy and the idea of it, you know, dealing with these uh, similar sexual orientations and, uh, 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 you know, variations, you know. You know, so which which reminds me, which 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 includes, <laughs> you know, uh, which is why the letter P is, you know, you know, uh, uh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a mystery if the letter P soon gets added to the LGBTQ uh, uh, um you know, alphabet, so to say. All right. And this was, this is what leads me to that conclusion. Cause I believe they're going to legalize this man under this devil be, uh, based off his track record. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, provide a little demonstration on that, you know, right here. Okay. Special legs are going to be frisked. Yep. Drop your hands. You say that to somebody in North Dakota, they think it's a frisk. Drop your hands on the side, you know. <laughs> if you're in trouble, right? I need a hug. Come on. Look at her face, man. She looks highly uncomfortable. She's only 13 years old, man. She probably didn't even reach her puberty yet. And the scriptures say you can only lie with a woman when she reaches her menstrual cycle, when she has her menstrual cycle. So why is he why is he touching on her like that? You see? But this, but like, like, see, this is your but this is the king pursuing the Deuteronomy 17 and 15. You know, uh, that you that, that that you Jake, you mainly you 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 uh, so called blacks from from the uh, Southern Kingdom, appointed as your king when you when you're supposed to the law of appointing somebody as a king over you is supposed to be of your own brotherhood. Pursuing of Deuteronomy seventeen and fifteen of the royal law of Yahweh by Shemir Shai, man. So these devils have prescribed these unrighteous decrees to further lead us astray from the royal law of Yahweh by Shemir Shai, man. So we can keep their wicked laws, man. All right, pursuing the first Maccabees, man. The laws of the land. And that's why, you know, they condone, you know, you know, wicked behavior like this, man. That's why back in a, in a so-called Holy Roman Empire, they were indulging in, a, 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 you know, sexual a, a deviancy and debauchery, you know, that's being further depicted here. You know what I'm saying? Within the vibration of, you know, this, 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 this demonstration, man. You see? Because they are doing the bidding of Satan, man. As of the direct image of Satan. All right? daughter you see That's that's a that's an intimate uh, suggestion when you do that to a female or you do that to anybody, and she's she she looks underaged. You see. So in other words, man, this is the same guy who just prescribed a decree to allow, you know, males in the female sports that identify themselves as female. You see? And that's that's that that's offended the feminist community, which I, which is ironic because Kamala Harris is supposed to give off that effeminate vibration that much more further, you know, to further uh, commemorate the, the um, 
the uh, the mother, so-called mother goddess, all right, Semiramis, the queen of heaven, all right, which which uh, the idea of uh, of America, you know, is supposed to you know further uh, you know commemorate and exemplify and 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 uh, describe, man, and represent. But they define, see, they're defining their own, uh, you know, really the Lord is defining their brightness, their, which is their so-called wisdom, you know. You know, that's why I say in Proverbs 13 and 9, I believe it is, the Lord will uh, remove the light from their, their lamp, all right? You know, their, their so-called wisdom, not understanding, which is sensual and devilish, okay, not, 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 pro, uh, not predicated off of the, 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 um, the righteous order of Yahweh by Shemir Shai. And, he, and he's defined that brightness, man, all right, by exposing him uh, through the Holy Spirit, all right? So don't be so, hey, man, the, the letter P more than likely will be added to LGBTQ very soon, man, because it's devil, okay? You know, so uh, bring out some more of this article. Actually, go back to this one here, all right? So it says, all right, so... Let me see. You know, something else I wanted to bring out. All right, that's pretty much it, man. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? So, like it says here, he, uh, he signed the executive order that discriminates against uh, Kamala Harris' entire sex to imply that you know her feminist position is being compromised by this this uh, decree that he that he just prescribed. Because because the glory of Babylon the Great is is failing like a uh, it's it's withering away like a decaying flower, man. Roughly paraphrasing Second Edges fifteen and fifty. All right, as an abominable, wicked, sinful kingdom, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and get. Uh, and speaking of the uh, the royal law, you know there you know there there's a, a a way in which a man and a woman are supposed to conduct themselves, man, especially through their their apparel. So Deuteronomy twenty two and five, it says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do uh, for all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh thy power. Okay, so this here, Salakia. So this here, all right, is a further example of that. This is clearly a man. Okay, and this, and, and and here's another example. Okay, clearly a man, you know, and and, and women's apparel, man. This 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 is this is Babylon, man. Like a. a like uh, Childish Gambino said, "This is America. Don't catch it slipping." <laughs> and they catch they they they, they see and, and this place has caught a lot of Jake slipping, man. And this and this uh, snare, okay? Because America uh, in itself is a snare, man. So I'm going to end this off with um, Psalm chapter 34, verse 16, and it reads, "The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil." To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, all right. All the all because all the wickedness these devils have done, all right. Enslaving uh, enslaving the Lord's chosen, his his goodly pleasant things, his jewels, the nation Israel, all right. For damn near uh, half uh, uh, half a thousand years, all right. He's gonna be he's gonna be uh, in captivity for a thousand years under us, pursuing the book of Revelation before the Lord eradicates him off this earth, man. And pursuing Ezekiel the thirty fifth chapter, this that this world is going to rejoice. You know, as a result of that, you know, like it says in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked in authority, people mourn. And there's nothing but mourning going on right now because he's in rulership. Even the feminists are in mourning. <laughs> you see, no joke. And I just read in the article. See, so it's all the Holy Spirit, man. Um, at the end of the day, revealing these devils, man, to find their brightness. So having that said, call Halal me Hawa by Hashem, my Shaq Forgive me the spirit to do this video and Lord willing, this is further edifying, exhorting to any of the elect who may come across this video. And with that, a bod, the ball, DTA, Kwame Ash'Allah, and Shalom to the elect.